Hey everybody, so I have here, this is the HP Envy X360. We have in here for repair. It's more of a basic repair. Um, so every time you open it and turn it on, you see this error. This is a really common error. Pretty much system fan error, 90B. If you ever get that, that's really important to um, do a fan. That means one of the fans is failing on them and you need to do a replacement. Uh, today we're going to be showing you guys how to do a replacement on these models. This model in particular, this is the X360. Uh, specifically, it's uh, 15MEE0013DX, but it's a lot of these HP models. Uh, the most most important thing, though, is when you do see uh, the error. The errors, a lot of them, is for HP models. They give you a very specific fan error. They fail quite a bit. That motor is starting to fail in there, and it's very important to get a fan replacement in as fast as you can because you don't want to be using this with a bad fan because that can cook the processor, uh, especially with the other ones. This one actually has... This one has graphics on it. You see it says Radeon Graphics and has a Ryzen processor. If you have one that has NVIDIA, I would definitely make sure you do that as soon as possible too because that's definitely an error. That's definitely a problem. So for the fan issue, it's not always going to tell you exactly which fan it is. But um, So for this video, what we're going to do is we're going to be replacing both fans. I have both fans here. Before we get started, guys, if you really want to share this information and help other people um, fix their problems as well, or at least show people that there are fixes for their problems, we have lots of videos talking about software repairs. We do data recoveries. We do some pretty cool Mac stuff and liquid spill repairs, bore level repairs. If you really want to show other people and really help other people, it would really help us a lot if you could just hit that like button. It just right down there. If you could just click it, it really does help us a lot. It will show this video to lots of other people that do have the same problems that you guys may have or show you guys how to, how to do stuff. We have lots of videos talking about a lot of different things, but obviously the YouTube algorithm is a little bit wonky sometimes and it really doesn't reach the people it should but hitting that like button would really help us out as well as show other people these videos as well so let's just get right into the repair now and we'll get started usually on these ones uh, there's usually some type of rubbers on both sides you can get a little flat edge and actually remove it but since it's already gone and missing we're not really too worried about it right okay so all i'm going to do is just do undo the screws and there should be uh, some it would be nice to show you guys that there's a rubber piece here, but uh, it's, it's for the bomb rubber. You can just grab a little flat and just uh, undo that. And usually there's a little bit of adhesive. You can see this one still has its adhesive here. So we can actually do, we can just remove it because there's, there's no point of it being there. It's just going to get like dust and dirt and grimes stuck onto it. Really nothing else. But if you have that, just remove that. And then there's screws underneath here. Just get the little flat, go underneath, and then this piece will come up. And it's pretty much like a tape. It's supposed to be double-sided, but see that? That comes up just like that. Now, if you have a rubber, you're going to want to make sure you put that back on, or you can put your own adhesive too. That actually does work as well. If you have that, you'll make it a lot more nicer. If we had the rubbers here, I think that would be the best thing to do, but we don't really have the rubbers here. Okay, so there's just two more screws here, and now we can actually remove the bottom, and the bottom should come up. Not too bad. I know on these ones, you want to be careful with your fingers because I do know sometimes these can get pretty sharp, especially on certain types of uh, X360 models. Um, not all of them are exactly the same, but they're all pretty much the same process which you're going to be doing. I want to find my point of entry, and I found one that's actually over here. And since I got it started with a straight edge or something similar, and now I can go more with plastic because plastic is always a better way to go. And we go, we just grab a little like a tar pick or something. Nice and easy. See that? It's going to come up and it's going to start to lift a bit more. Oh, there's another screw in the middle here. I didn't even see that. And there's, I believe this is more of one of those uh, other screwdrivers. I did not see that. You guys should have told me. Oh, wait. Wait, I should have told you guys because I'm making the video for it, right? So there's another hidden screw here. Now, again, your model does, it can vary depending on which one that you have. On which X360, but it's the same process. If you see a screw, you need to remove it because it's not going to come out without it. So... This will pop up a bit. You feel a little, bit, a little bit more of a tight in the middle. It's okay, just pop it. It's all right. We're gonna do undo this, and where we do have that the fans are exposed, and we also have here our battery connection. So let's make sure we take out the battery connection. It's right here. You'll see it's connected to a battery. It's down here. And now we want to just focus really on removing the fans, right? Um, a good way to know if uh, if you have two fans and you're not sure really which fan is going bad, you can usually just use your finger. Um, try to just obviously take out the battery first before you do anything. You can see if you can find feel any resistance here or if you hear any grinding or something. You see that? How it's making a bit of noise? That one can be a problem. And maybe this one too. It's not as bad, but this one. 
See that? That's not good. It shouldn't be giving that much resistance. It shouldn't be touching it, or the motor is uh, most likely going bad. Depends, really. If you turn on, you hear it's coming from one, then it's very obvious. Now what we want to do is we want to just remove these, right? Um, I'm going to be showing you how to do both, because it's pretty much the same process for both. You just take out the, the fan screws there. We just take out the fan connections here, and now we're just going to have a few screws, and it should be pretty good. And it's good it tells you this because you don't want to be operating it with it. Um, sometimes you can operate uh, this one with it, and you don't want to do that. Like, have the, the error come up and then still have issues, still have problems. Or something You don't want to deal with it when it's off. So this is really dirty too. And we, this is a great opportunity not to only do that. We can also clean inside um, maybe the heat sink here or maybe put some thermal paste. If you want to do that, you could definitely do that too. It's definitely not a problem. Uh, it's a good time to at least be doing stuff like that if you're opening it up but if you're not comfortable if you just want to do that that's fine we're not going to be showing it really in this video but it's a good time to actually do it we'll definitely make sure we do it for the client too that's good sometimes you can even check in there and see if it's really dirty but a lot of these fans sometimes you might not be able to find um some things and maybe some replacements for certain models especially ones that just aren't there aren't parts available right so one thing you can do uh, we don't totally recommend it but if you have like WD-40 or something, you can actually apply it to here and it will loosen up. Uh, that's mainly if you're hearing more of a grinding noise. It's not going to fix any problems though if you have a motor issue inside. It's not really going to be doing anything because it will most likely fail. That's kind of the whole point you're getting an error message, right? So um, you can do that if you can't find parts for your specific HP model. I know there are some where it's just you just can't find any parts for it. And it's, it's a shame. But um, yeah, so now we have both of our fans. Let's go get them out. And it doesn't matter which one. Um, if you do order one, they're not. There's not just one size fits all. They do shape differently, and they have different connections going different angles. Because you can see this one has an angle going over here, and then this one has an angle going out a little bit. They might look pretty similar. They might look a little bit different. This one even sometimes might be look a little bit different. But if you see here, see how the difference is between the fans, right? It's a little bit different for each one. So you want to make sure that that you plug them in accordingly. They're just going to fit really a certain way. See how this one will just fit right here. And this one just fit right there. But before we do that, I want to make sure we clean at least this. If you have like a small brush, this little heat sink area would be actually fantastic to clean. I have a clean brush. <laughs> Let me go get a dirtier brush because uh, I don't want to dirty it. It's pretty nasty. But you can grab like a toothbrush or something. I got a really disgusting toothbrush here, but it's going to help at least clean this fan area. And it's good to just get in between there. Just get in between those teeth. And they're literally like teeth. It's a good way to clean it a little bit better as well. Or if you have like a blow duster, you can do that too. I think I actually have an electronic one here. It's really nice. And it's like a nice little air duster. It's meant for little stuff. It really helps clean this out as well. You clean other things. And also you can get some of the dirt and debris off of here because that's where the fan is. There we go. That's better, huh? It's a lot cleaner. And it's the one time that we get to do that. So we have lots of videos too showing about thermal paste and how to apply that. We have like a, another HP one if you want to check that out. And we also have uh, other like MSI ones if you want to see on how to do thermal paste and what you really should be doing. Okay. So we want to put these in. Um, I guess we could put this one in first. I don't know why I put both of them at the same time. But... Uh, we could put the screws back. I believe they're the same screws for each one, so it won't really matter anyway. It's really important that you put the screws in because the whole point of a fan is to blow uh, this fin a uh, heat sink here. And when this gets hot, it's going to actually push air this way, and the fan's just going to push it and cool it, and then it's going to be all nice and dandy there. So it's a good, good thing. Let's make sure we plug it in too. Make sure it's completely flat and it's make sure it's getting enough uh, space there. Right? And we're also plug this one in too. Let's go this way. And they fit absolutely perfectly. You can see how nice and clean they are too. They're much cleaner, much nicer. Okay? So we plug that in. And now we have this flat. Now we can screw it in. If you got nasty look no one wants to see that nasty toothbrush. Where it's been, who knows? That's been here for a while, so. All right, so it looks good. Um, you can test it now. I guess I'll show you guys. I'll plug back in the connection here, and um, I'll test it. 
I don't really like doing this or they like showing you guys to do this because sometimes some of these hinges here are very, very weak, especially if you don't have all the screws plugged in and it can make them worse. So I'm not going to be doing it. I'm not, I don't really want to be showing um, that turn on, but I'll do it anyway, whatever. But I uh, see this too. This is the bottom of it. We can clean this off with a brush. Uh, obviously, it's going to brush towards me, but you see like how it will clean up. This is a good thing to actually clean here. I'm gonna just going to be going on the trash. I don't want to put it all over myself in here. Just one second. It's a lot better. It's not... It's there we go. See that looks pretty good, huh? All right, so what I'm gonna do I'm I want to show you guys at least this thing spinning Make you guys believe me because I know no one believes me when I do anything So let's go ahead and turn it on like this and I know the power buttons like on the other side here Just randomly push buttons and one of them is gonna be the power button. I see the fans are spinning now and Let's see if we get the air anymore. That's really dirty Screen man, this is really dirty. This is another thing too. We can wipe down the screen Make it all nice, but we shouldn't be getting the air anymore. That's kind of the whole point of it. I'll show it after this, but I just want to show you guys at least it's spinning. Uh, turned on there for a second. Oh, there we go. See, see, most reset we got this time because that means the battery's been unplugged. That's fine, but at least we're not getting the other air anymore. So let's hit enter and it should go away. All right, and the air is gone. Everything looks to be pretty good. Okay, so everything looks to be pretty good. Uh, I mean, I don't know if you guys are interested really in me putting back this thing. I want to actually put some thermal paste on that, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Uh, I don't want to make this video too long anyway, but pretty much just put this back, right? There's just a bunch of screws to put back on the cover. There's nothing special to it, and that's really about it. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on how to replace the fans on the X360 HP laptop. Whenever you do get the error code 90B. Um, if you like this video, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. And we do lots of liquid civil repairs, data recoveries, hard drive repairs, we do lots of different other things that are going on in this channel. Definitely check it out if you're interested in Macs, computers, any of that stuff, technical stuff, or tech shop. We like to show you guys cool things. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks all for watching. Take care and bye.